Hi everyone, how are you today? I am shooting today's video in my outdoor studio, aka my backyard. As you can see from what I'm wearing, it is somewhat chilly today, but it is nice and sunny. So I figured why not spend a bit of time outside to keep myself from going completely crazy. Social distancing is hard. And I know that a lot of people are becoming increasingly frustrated and impatient with the whole thing. To the extent that there are people in various parts of the United States who are going to government buildings with semi-automatic weapons and staring down and intimidating healthcare workers, which I kind of think is more than a little bizarre. If you are one of these people, I have a message for you. There is a long list of people who are vulnerable to succumbing to this awful virus. People who are senior citizens, people who are diabetic, who have asthma, COPD, various other conditions, uh, people with compromised immune systems. And just going by the laws of statistics, every single one of us knows and loves at least one person in this vulnerable group. It might be your mom or dad, or it might be a grandparent, it might be an aunt or uncle, maybe a brother or sister, your best friend, maybe even one of your own kids. So just for a moment, think of someone you know and love who falls into that group of vulnerable people. Think, of the, think about that person, put a picture of them in your mind for a moment. Now imagine that person being taken to hospital with the virus. And as they're lying there in their hospital bed, they are afraid because they have no idea what's about to happen to them. They are alone because they are not allowed to have any loved ones with them. And they don't even have proper human contact because the doctors and nurses who are taking care of them are covered head to toe in personal protective equipment. So your loved one cannot even see a reassuring smile. And that's gotta be extraordinarily frightening and disheartening and just awful. Now imagine that your loved one has been intubated but that no amount of oxygen was able to save them and they have now died by themselves in this hospital room. Imagine what your life is now going to be like without that person. Is it really worth the risk? That's, that is my question to you. Is it worth the risk to start to break all of the social distancing protocols to go against what medical experts are saying. And I'm going to be honest with you, if you're the kind of person who values getting a haircut or playing golf or getting a massage or, you know, doing any of these things more than you value human life, then I really don't know what to say to you. Please, if you are going to these protests, go home, throw away your stupid signs, and stop being so selfish and ridiculous. Because every single time people do this kind of stuff, pe when people congregate in groups to protest life-saving measures, you are costing lives. And nothing is more valuable than human lives. So think about it. Go home, stay home. And for those who are staying home, thank you. Keep it up. See you later. Bye.